Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's Jeb here, and welcome back to episode 7 of Let's Play Agrarian Skies 2. Um, yeah, my base looks a whole lot different than it did last episode. You're probably guessing what in the earth, like, what in the world have I done to my base? Uh, basically, I was kind of just tired of my setup because it was not making it easy to expand. Because uh, if I wanted to expand, I had to expand out into the directions of each. Uh, little platform so i decided why not just make it flat and if we ever need to expand it's easy to expand so i kind of did the math for these glowstone um and made it i think i have f7 mode on so we would see if there would be a problem with them uh the problem with the lighting uh bad news just a quick update before we start today's episode i should probably actually change this because this is turning into mossy stone ah we'll leave it for cool effects i guess um but yeah, so this is completely broken. I've tried so, I mean, for granted, it doesn't really matter because how much wood we have, it's not a huge deal. Um, but I cannot get it to work. It completely gets stuck every time in here. And I even have like filters, uh, servos. I've tried transfer nodes. Um, I've literally tried everything. Reinforced. I, I mean, name it all. I've pretty much tried it. Um, and for right now, it's just getting stuck in here. Basically, I think what it is, I don't know if it's just for the tree chopper or other machines in this mod, but um, even when I specify and whitelist this flint broken hatchet, um, once it goes through the process, like it'll pull it out the first time, but once it goes through the process, uh, it recognizes it as a different kind of broken axe, even though it's still the same axe. Um, I don't know if that has to do with just Minecraft or I honestly don't know. So we'll try to figure I mean, I'm going to keep researching, of course, uh, but it's not a major deal because of how much wood we do have already. So today I want to focus on a lot of just questing. We haven't really been taking a look at the quest book and that's really what this whole uh, mod pack is about. So um, updated. I wish I could quiet these pulverizers down here as well. I mean, we could honestly stop the process. Because, I mean, we have ton loads of everything. As you guys can see, this stuff has been running nonstop. I mean, we have, un not unlimited, but we have quite a bit of supplies. I guess uh, for now, let's go ahead and stop this. And then these guys will continue on. And then uh, eventually it'll stop. Maybe. But then, I mean, that has a whole lot more to go. But... Um, I do want to open up this common treasure and uncommon treasure. Hopefully there's nothing bad in them. I don't think stuff bad stuff can spawn into them. Uh, but basically, I just got them from this. As you guys can, guys can see, I got more uncommon uh, treasure. And this is filling up so fast. I, don't, I honestly don't even know what to do with this. Uh, I've trashed a lot of things. Like if it wasn't for me trashing a lot into this trash can, um, it would already have been full. Um, so let's open up some uncommon treasure. We got a knowledge fragment. Wow. And 16 gold coins, uh, coins, coins. Oh, wow. Awesome. We have an ender pearl. That is cool. Splash potion of water breathing bottle of enchantment. Oh, that scared me. Uh, potion of poison. Cool. So a bunch of neat stuff that we're going to toss into here. We have an ender pearl. That's awesome. I've been needing an ender pearl. Uh, we just got a uh, quest for that. And that's actually what I wanted to work on next. So let's open up some of these. So we got some gold. Oh, another ender pearl. Cool, cool. Emerald. Oh, wow. We, so we got two more ender pearls. And we'll just throw this stuff up here for the time being. I don't know what the gold coins do, honestly. Okay, I, I want to keep this stuff over here. Got all our potions. I don't know what the coins do. I have uh, like three stacks of them. I mean, I guess we can look it up, right? Gold coin. Lucky gold coin. This can be used to make sparks. Oh, that's for, uh, I believe sparks are having to do, yeah, with Batania. Um, and they, uh, they make a couple other things. I mean, they actually make quite a few things. Smelting, we can smelt it into gold nuggets. I mean, we have a ton of ores. It doesn't really, it's not a huge deal. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of crafting with, with that. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then we're going to open up our quest book and take a look at what we want to get into today's video. So let's open her up and see what we got. So let's go ahead, I think. 
for now. I could probably actually start working on these guys. Um, but we'll worry about that at maybe at the end of this episode. So there's a whole lot of stuff we got going on for us. Um, what is this? Applied engineering. Portable AE2. Cool, cool. I think that's for the hoarding. I think Storage Wars would have our AE systems, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that's something else. Power grid, maybe. No. That's literally just power. Okay. Well, makes sense. Um, we're, we're good on power. We don't really need other ways to find power. So let's go ahead and claim our world. So we get another ender pearl. Awesome claim. Uh, we got this, which we get another ender pearl. And we got glowstone. Cool. We will take all of that. I guess I will throw my glowstone in here. Awesome. So let's take a look at what we got. To do. I actually wanted to get these creepy friends, um, which allows us to spawn Endermen. So we have to combine a creepy doll with a barrel of witch water, and you can have your own Endermen infestation. Um, and the way we get creepy dolls, if we look, we have porcelain dolls in here I think we need. Uh, if we look up creepy dolls... Let's see how to make this lapis nether war. I think that's what was holding us back last time. Um, and I do have a lot of ink sacks. They are in this mob. I don't know what mob is dropping them, but they, some, some guy in here that's dying is dropping uh, ink sacks, which is cool. I'll take them. And yeah, this is just honestly ridiculous how much stuff we're getting from this mob spawner. And it's just like a generic mob spawner. Like I didn't, I did nothing fancy. Um, and it just went. It is just going. So maybe hold off on this because I still need nether warts. And I don't think we can get nether warts until we get go to the nether. Maybe. Crop produce, shape crafting, uh, blaze rods, and a man infuser. We can sift soul sand. That could be a thing. Um, I think that's what actually we got to get into next. So let's take a look at this thing. And yeah, so... Uh, let's go ahead and cr complete this, the automated tedium. So the first item for making your crafting life less of a drag is a crafting frame. Place it on a chest, barrel, or in other inventory that contains the resources you want to craft. Sneak, okay. Uh, has the materials, you can craft the recipe you set. That seems pretty cool. So just um, crafting table. Honestly, we need more sticks. So, what a crafting table inside of sticks gives us a super crafting frame, which obviously, I think we just throw it on the front of that. So, can you not, like, use it again? Or do you have to take it off every time? Oh, oh I think that's it. Oh, you shift left click. Okay. So I think that if it has the material in here, it'll craft it, which there's not really a lot of materials in there. I wonder if I should throw it on my one another thing, but we'll leave it for there now because it looks cool, huh? Okay, so this also need we need a super item frame and a super void frame. So let's see. We need a dropper for this guy. Let's let's see. Redstone and seven cobblestone. So that should be a easy enough. Redstone, cobblestone, and then sticks. Cool. I'm guessing we're going to need eight more sticks again for this other guy. And I think we need an ender pearl for this other guy. So super item frame. What does that do? Does it just hold an item? Like anything else? I don't know. Let's put it away. I don't know what it does. And then a super void frame, which is just ender pearls. Or a ender pearl. Around eight sticks. Super void frame. This is probably used to void items. So I'm going to throw it back there. Let's see. Can we test it out? Let's say we wanted to void you. Oh, yeah. So it's gone forever. Cool. Awesome stuff. Uh, we get pumpkin pie and iron ingots for that guy, which let's throw that into here. 
and then cool let's see what else we have to do so we're uh pretty close to done with this guy uh, i don't know i don't know if that percentage is supposed to be changing i think it's supposed to tell you how far you're along but it's all saying 100 percent so it might be a little bit broken so an angry doll is blaze powder okay we still need nether warts for this guy so that's not going to be happening right now but we can get soul sand and then probably get nether warts so let's try this um, I don't just dimensional explorer. Why not try and find some? Mm. Oh, that sounds pretty crazy. The last millennium, uh, the deep dark soul dimension. That seems pretty scary, honestly. Um, we got to work. We can do the workshop table next, but let's go. We have to visit the end. Our wolf hates Endermen. Pesky creatures are always popping in and just taking his stuff. Not that he's scared of them, just that they are pesky. Hmm. Okay, cool. So, soul sand. Right clicking a barrel of Witch Roger with sand will get you soul sand. I need some soul sand, so that sounds pretty cool with me. Let's go grab some sand. Yeah, we'll just grab. Oh, I specifically just wanted one, but that's fine. Um, and then we'll get a bucket of water to grab. So this, boom, should give us soul sand. Cool. So we got a soul sand, and then now, um, I guess we just we're gonna have to collect them. Where did uh my other auto or manual sieve go? So let's get this guy going down again. In case we need to sieve some stuff. So let's see what we got for that reward. Uh, more soul sand. So let's see if we can get some nether warts out of these guys. Wouldn't that be cool if we can just pop some nether warts? We got nether quartz. That's not exactly what we wanted. I didn't even read the percent chance of getting one. But it seems like nether quartz is like the main thing you get out of these guys. Huh. I legit just got all nether quartz. Cool. So I guess we'll just uh, keep getting some soul sand into this guy. Well, that would be cool. Um, then hopefully, I wonder how fat, how long this takes. I don't think it takes long. Okay, as a transform transforming meter up there. So come on, give us nether quartz. Uh, not quartz. I called the wrong thing. I wanted nether warts, but that's fine, I guess. So we'll worry about, I'll probably do some off camera just to see if I can get that. Cause that would be pretty nice. I'm actually, I kind of want to just throw this stack of you in here. We are always cooking like constantly up here. Alrighty. So let's take a look at what is next on the quest book so that's how we can get nether quartz which will help nether warts so it'll help us uh with these uh creepy friends with with enderman and this guy so let's see sifting grass more than just dust and sand can be put through a seat the seat uh you can get special saplings by sifting top berry grass and ore berry bushes by sifting stone so we need a Get just plain old grass. Or top of your grass. Which is seeds and dirt. That seems pretty easy enough. We got some extra dirt in here. I guess we can just grab a lot of these seeds. Because we're not going to be using these guys. I don't know if it's going to let us do with this kind of. Okay, so I guess it does it with any kind. Cool, so we got some of these guys. I think this guy's pretty rare to get, actually. To sieve, sieving uh, topiary, gra uh, topiary grass, however you pronounce. Yeah, this guy is pretty rare. I believe, to get. I mean, not crazy rare. But he just doesn't pop out of nowhere. So what can we throw in here? I guess um, since we have a ton of wheat, we might as well keep our grass coming. I wonder if there's a, a better way to get grass besides um, composting it, because that would be awesome. 
And so you go in here. We can get more soul sand out of this guy. It's getting dark again. It's not good. Shift and give us nether wart. Wow, it only gives us nether quartz. It does not want to give us nether warts. So, let's see. We need to keep making this top area grass, I guess. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then I'm going to take a look at the quest book because uh, I can do all the sifting uh, off camera. And that'd be good. So, let's just take a look at if there is another quest I want to get into or if I just want to go ahead and sift this uh, to get these guys done. Crushing blow. Some blocks can be broken with hammer to turn into other blocks that can be sift for different materials. Crush netherrack can give you gas tears as well as ore chunks. Crushed netherrack. Cool. Oh, that actually can get you cobalt and all other kind of stuff. But netherrack only comes from... All right, how, how is netherrack come? I think we did it here. La okay, yeah, lava barrel with redstone. I mean, we can try it, honestly. We got some redstone up here. Let's go ahead and down and see if we can do this. Which I don't know what we're going to do with this water source. Uh, I'm going to throw the water source right there for now. And none of these... Uh, this one has 2,000. So, boom, we do like that, and we get that. Cool. Who else has some for me? This guy always has some. I should probably refill these guys. And I always... This is how I'm running out of cobblestone. Is this guy still going, even though we turned this off? That's crazy. I mean, he's still working. But, jeez, he is going... He is still going. That's going to take a while to even turn off that kind of blows my mind here but all right let's see if we can get some netherrack and then we'll crush it up and then see what else we can do with it so you go in there you come with me cool cool and then this guy and we got a ton in here we could just go ahead and i don't know how much of this stuff it's going to take Hopefully we get lucky and we don't have to worry about doing this like a ton off camera or something. That's all of that guy. Yeah, I put some netherrack under here and uh, it increased it by like three times. I think the speed of these guys. And I got this going into here. So this is pretty much always full. Pretty neat stuff, honestly. Okay, so we I guess we crushed these guys, I think it said. Which, where is our hammer? That's actually a good question. Or should we just make a new one? No, I think we have a diamond one somewhere. Brown, I believe it's in our brown bag. Yes, I was right. So we got our diamond hammer and I just crush this guy, right? And we get crushed another rack, cool. So let's go ahead and crush all this and then see if we can sift it and get lucky or if this is going to actually take like quite a bit of time. So let's actually check the quest book. It should tell us how rare it is, or the rarity of getting this guy. Um, Sifting, sifting. 7% chance. Our die is rare. Cobalt's super rare. So 7% chance shop. That's not too bad. Let's see if we get lucky. We get redstone. Please give us one. I think that's gold. Is it? Yeah, broken gold. Eh. What is that, sulfur? Okay, cool. We got some sulfur. Oh, we got it. We did it. Yes, quest complete. That's exactly what we wanted to do here. Cool. So you go in there. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I'll just keep them in here. We didn't get anything crazy. We got the normal ores. Um, hopefully, we'll take a trip to the nether actually pretty soon. That'd be pretty interesting. I don't think this episode, but maybe here soon. Maybe when I feel more equipped and ready to go. Um, as for these guys, I will take these and I will turn them into some more grass. And I don't know how long we're going to have to... I, I think uh, it's going to take a while for these guys. Two, 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 and two. Because, like, as you guys can probably see, we're not even getting anything, any drops. It's very rare. Out of eight, we've not had any. Which is pretty wild. Isn't there a better way to get dirt, though? Or uh, literally, we have to just do this. Press dirt, chisel. No, I think that's the only way to get dirt. Wow, that would take forever. That's not going to be fun. Uh, let's see, we got another gas here for that. Cool. That's awesome. Throw him in there, I guess. And let's work on... We'll work on this off camera and uh, getting nether quartz off camera as well. So let's take a look at this workshop table. So uh, the workshop table can have up to four modules inside and any combination of furnace or crafting table, a crafting table module can be upgraded to be auto crafting table to have extra storage space. A furnace module can be upgraded to have an input queue. Both the table and the furnace can be upgraded to store charges for later. Um, uh, uh, for later instant processing and to process faster. The workshop table itself can be, have global upgrades applied that affect all modules inside cool that's pretty awesome so solar generator auto crafter production speed and charger so this doesn't seem too bad so it looks like we're going to need a lot of iron some redstone probably uh some lapis some stone Some more, so that's good. Some wood, some glowstone, some glass. That looks all cool. So let's get just like a bunch of these guys, right? Like you, you, stack of you. We have quite a bit of cobblestone, so I think we're good on cobble, at least for now. And I'm going to keep refilling these guys. That's the only thing. I tried automating this, actually, and it did not work out. It did not like me. It did not want to do it automatically, but, hey, I cannot complain. We have a full stack of shiny ingots, and I don't even know what shiny ingots can be used for as of right now. Uh, I made, like, armor out of it, and it gives you slowness, so that's not cool. So let's see what we need to get on our hands. We need a charger. So let's look up a charger. Um, yes, you. So we need one of you. Cool. And then we'll get a charger. Nice. And then we need a production speed. I think these are just upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. Production Production speed. Cool. So I think we need two more of these guys. Maybe three. I can't remember. One of you. Cool. And then, um, what else? Auto crafter. Is that in here? Auto transfer. Auto crafter. Which requires one of you. Um, and then that should be an auto crafter. And then what else do we need? A solar generator, which is right here. Um, that requires one piece of glass. I got that for sure. Um, and then we can get this auto or solar generator. Yes. We need one more of these, these, and then that should be, nope. Oh, no, we forgot to get glowstone. My bad, my bad. One of you. And then we're done with these guys. 
and done with him. Cool. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I also got a tool for it, by the way. That's probably why you notice. But uh, a Lumite Hammer. So that's awesome. What else am I missing? Oh my goodness, we put the iron away. But at least we have six in here. Well, that should be perfect. Boom. Awesome, and we get fuel efficiency. Does that mean we need a workshop table, right? We need some wood for that guy. I got plenty of wood, trust me. Got tons of that stuff. We got some more dirt as well. Cool. And then now let's go take a look at here. First off. Let's get this guy at least. And let's test our luck. Can we get the all? Wow. This is literally not giving us one thing yet. I told you guys, I'm pretty sure this is really rare. I think everything has like a 1% uh, drop chance. So can we get this guy now? Production table. Main transfer upgrades. Fuel efficiency, solar generator. Power. Charger, production speed. An auto crafter. Doesn't stack well. Uh, cool. Let's take a nap real quick. See if we get some power going. Uh, let's see. We got some power. Yes. So how do we like select um, filter blank upgrade extra storage charger? How does this guy work? The guy have to workshop table or did we get the right thing, right? Yeah, production table. Hmm. Four modules inside with any combination. Like, do we have to throw like a crafting table in one of them? That'd be my guess, right? Like, put a crafting table in one of these guys? Cool, cool. So if we go to main, we have a crafting table. Uh, if we make a stove, we should have a smelter guy in there. Um, and what do we do? Like throw some of you in here with this guy? Holy cow, that guy used all that power. Oh, we see that he gets power from charcoal, for sure. How does the furnace work, right? Because like, I can't toss stuff in there. No. Maybe you can't use charcoal, who knows? Can you use, like, wood? No. Hmm. Maybe it just uses power, right? Yeah. So, okay, cool. So, it'll probably just use power. That'd be cool. For sure. Um, can we throw, like, a chest in there, maybe? Or, like, even a compact chest. That'd be pretty cool. Six. Five. Four. I made a little mini chest. Just because I want to see. No, this needs to go to this guy. Hmm. Okay, so you can fuel it. So do I have to make a regular chest? Is that a thing? Are we just wasting all these things? 
I thought it said, I could have sworn it said, okay, I guess not. We'll throw these guys in there. I could have sworn it said that we could do that, right? Uh, upgrade to store charges. Process fast. The workshop itself can have a global upgrades. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, we'd have to definitely look more into that, but basically just a crafter. Um, and like, what if I look up something like, uh, like what if I look up a furnace? Like, okay, cool. Okay. I was just making sure it would, uh, auto craft like that. That's awesome. I guess. I mean, I, we really don't need this guy anymore. I'll just keep him for the, the giggles, but let's see what else is next. Um, that's pretty much it. Can we do like one more thing before we leave? For today's episode, or we're gonna need more stuff. As for these guys, these guys grow like crazy with uh, these crazy attributes. I could probably automate this, um, which I think that's probably what we we'll, might work on here soon. Automating this guy, and hopefully it works better than our tree farm. I'm still so very irritated. I'm actually really upset that our tree farm did not just work. Uh, we could probably get some more of this. Cool. We should get some witch water. I think, don't we have another one of those blocks? Yeah, we do. We technically could double up the speed of this guy. Is there oak barrel, right? Yeah. Some water. See, that witch water makes, you know, it's made pretty quick, actually. Cool. So now we got that going. We got our dirt. Awesome. Awesome. That's still transforming. I'm going to have to get used to this, honestly. Three, three, one. I'm trying to use up all these seeds. Now, does it hold? It does hold. That's pretty neat. I'm kind of liking this uh, workshop table. I don't know. Uh, of course, we don't know everything it does. But... We should be able to look more into it and then find out some cool stuff about it. Maybe. Who knows? Give us what we want, please. We want the whatever. It's, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know what we're looking for. Please. Wow. We have not received one thing from that. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, what about if we sip... Sift some uh, soul sand. We get. We got tainted soil and heat sand. That's new. I just want nether warts. A nether wart just so we can start growing them. But we got some type of tree actually. And some more sir. fused wood sapling. Okay. That's pretty neat, I guess. Cool. So I think I'm going to have to just do the grass, uh, the topiary grass and the witch water or the soul sand sifting until I get um, at least one nether wart and um, this, what is it? What is it even called? This guy we're going for, this tiger wood sapling. Uh, so until I get those, I'm probably just going to have to do these off camera. For next episode, we'll probably be looking in... Um, I found out how to make this. I kind of forgot, though. I'll make that probably in between episodes because it's real simple. Um, for next episode, what did I want to get into? Automated Lumberjack. That would be pretty cool. Might be able to fix art. I, I honestly don't want to deal with that for now. Uh, not Blood, not Batania, not... Um, I've noticed that these aren't even unlocking. I think, may, oh, maybe this is like the unlocking. Like, I'm 65%. Maybe not. Oh, no, that's just Zoom. Wow, okay, cool. Got me there. 
Uh, okay, for next episode, we might look into a little bit more storage. Um, we'll try to finish up these tinkers soon. Because honestly, we could probably start making this stuff, right? Ardite and Cobalt. Eh, we don't need, we don't have Cobalt as of right now. But Ardite might be what leads us to Cobalt, right? And Ardite is not made. All right, level tools, start. All right, uh, okay. Mana steel, isn't that only made in a mana pool? So maybe we might look into some Batania. Who knows? Honestly, I don't know. But that's probably a good wrapping up point for this episode. I hope everyone did enjoy the episode today. Um, happy Monday. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. Um, and... I will see you guys in the next episode. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. And if you are not subscribed already, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe if you want. Uh, please give this a like or a comment if you did enjoy. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. So, peace out.